Hello, Scorpios. So last reading I did, I was getting that your person got hit with some very heavy energy. Um, they want to impulsively message you. They they just feel like they need you. It's it's a very they're in this they they were in this very raw emotional energy. It seems like they just kind of had this breakdown. Like maybe they went through something. There might have been something that happened with like a family member or a friend. Um, something that was just really upsetting for them. And they feel like you're their safe space, like you're, you know, their teddy bear, their their comfort zone. Um, and they just wanted to, they wanted you there. They just, they missed you. They wanted you there. Feels like something just very heavy happened and they just, they, they may have reached out to you or they were really thinking about reaching out to you. They just, they, very nostalgic, very emotional, very passionate. <coughs> I'm going to. I'm going to start by doing some bibliomancy here, and then I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So what is the first message? Need I ever question whether or not there is a God above, or whether or not is a waste of one's soul to have hope? I shall simply close my eyes and remember the way that the sky cracked open. The universe revealing itself in all of its glory to you and I, if only for a brief moment in time. So yeah, they're in a very nostalgic energy, it feels like. Let's get one more message and we'll go to the oracle reading. Love them through all their madness and all of their darkness. Why? Because love was never promised to be easy. And we have, as God's daughter, it is only natural that I too love you at your darkest. Okay. So just quick channeled messages and let's get into the reading. So what is going on with them right now? Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, happiness, warmth, light, passion, romance. Yeah, I feel like you're in, like, they still feel like they are in that kind of passionate, romantic, nostalgic energy. It feels like something happened and they're so used to having you there when they go through something. And now I think that, that they're processing it. I mean, they, they're feeling a little bit better, I think, than they were before with whatever it was that happened. But I think it, it gave them this epiphany. I think they realized you know, that, that you're always the person that they turn to when something happens like that. You're always the person they want to talk to, the person they want to be around, the person that comforts them. And I think that they took that for granted. And now that they're really needing that energy in their lives, I think they're... They're noticing the absence of it more. They're noticing your absence more. So we've got red flags, hidden motives, toxicity, happiness, warmth, light. So it's like they're noticing their own toxicity. They're noticing that you supported them, that you were their happiness, their warmth, their light. And they're getting this passionate romantic energy and kind of pausing, reflecting, going into hermit mode, you know, thinking about things. It's like... I feel like this just really shook them up. It was like a tower moment that they weren't expecting. And even though it was dark and upsetting for them, it still gave them this epiphany regarding your connection. It kind of changed their perspective on things. And now they're recognizing, like... Because I think they hadn't gone through anything like that for a while. You know what I mean? Like, maybe in the past, like, when they went through something, you were always there for them. And now that they've, they're going through something like that again, like, maybe it's like a phase they're going through... Some of them might be relapsing, um, or it's just some kind of phase of darkness, like a dark night of the soul kind of energy. Or maybe, maybe not quite as intense as a, as a dark night of the soul, but similar energy where something just happened that was unexpected and they were really upset. And now they're realizing that, you know, they don't have you there. Like, you're not, you know what I mean? Like, they're processing that they're they're noticing your absence more so
Manipulation, deception, waiting, hoping, praying. Yeah, either you manipulated and deceived them and now they're waiting and they're hoping and praying like that you make this right. Like maybe some of them feel like you were in the wrong and you did something to hurt them and they're hoping that you reach out and you make this right. For others, I feel like they were the one that was kind of deceptive and they're not sure what to do now. They're kind of just like waiting. Like they're like, it's like, look, like staring out the window, like nostalgic, thinking about you all the time, missing you but not sure how to fix this energy here. So it's like they're doing a lot behind the scenes, like they're praying, they're hoping, they're, you know what I mean? Like they're thinking about this, but they don't know what to do consciously. Some of them could still be trapped in a third party situation that they don't know how to get out of. Now a third party isn't always a person, like it definitely could be a person but it could also just be um, their own, it, just any third, third party energy that kind of distracts and takes away from the relationship. So this could be like substance abuse, this could be uh, gambling addictions, this could be some kind of negative energy that's kind of taking their attention away. So it's like they're not, they want to get through this, but they're not sure how, but they want to come forward, it really feels like. And if this is your, your, you know, story and you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. And any donations are appreciated too. My donation links are also below. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Yeah, it seems like the psychic energy is getting them out of this though. Like they're... It's like they're trying to override this. Does that make sense? Like their third, it's it's like everything. I think they were very stagnant for a long time. And I almost feel like something just broke them open. Like they just lost a family member or a friend or they're like turning to substances or something. Something shifted. And it feels dark, but it's also very healing for them in a way, if that makes sense. It's like it broke them open. Like they were just kind of on autopilot. And I feel like that's part of them taking you for granted is they were just kind of numb. Like they were just in whatever situation they were in, they were just kind of, you know, they, they adapted to it. Like they weren't feeling anything, but something so upsetting just happened to them recently, I feel. And it's actually gotten them out. Even though it's chaotic and it's dark and it's messy, it's actually gotten them out of the stagnant energy because it's, it's made them feel something again. It's made them wake up. Um... And so it feels like, but it feels like they're going down a destructive path to some degree for some of them. Some of them are turning to substances where maybe they were recovering from that, but now they're kind of, you know, considering it again um, or going back to it again. But I also feel like their third eye is open because, like I said, they were stagnant. They were numb. So it's like, yes, this thing, whatever this thing was that happened, it's like it upset them. It was dark, but it made them feel it opened them up again and got them out of the stagnant energy. So now their third eye is also open because things are moving again, even though it's like all this stuff they had suppressed is coming to the surface to be resolved or to be, um, not resolved. Um, well, yeah, I guess to be resolved, but also just, you know, things they had buried are all coming to the surface at once. And it's very overwhelming for them. For some of them, they might've lost like a family member, or a friend. Now this could be through death or it could just be, that they had a falling out with them, but it's like a major falling out. Like they know the connection is over. Um, it could be something like that, but it feels like, feels like they're feeling like regrets about it though. Like they're feeling, they're thinking about how it could have been different. They're thinking about what they could have done differently. But yeah, their third eye is very open right now. I still feel that like impulsive energy of them wanting to message you. So did they, can you guys tell me like, did they message you? Cause I was feeling that a couple weeks ago. Like they were like about to just like 
drunk message you or just message you crying saying they need you there or message you and like maybe try to make small talk but it's like they might break down and just tell you what they're going through at some point like it just feels like they just really like that, that was the energy I got two weeks ago that they were just really needing needing you there they were really missing you they were missing that support they were missing the connection just a lot of nostalgia um, so I'm wondering did you guys hear from them did you guys get that impulsive message like are you feeling this energy um, just wondering what's going on with you guys But yeah, I'm still getting the same energy. It's just kind of a, I mean, cause I'm, keep in mind, like when I channel, I'm channeling your stories. Like I'm, I don't do these readings and think like, oh, I'm going to look in, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not asking specific questions. You know what I mean? Like I don't do these readings and try to dictate where the cards go. I'm, I just do them and I channel your energies. I channel your stories. Does that make sense? So it's like, you guys have free will too. Like you guys could say like, hey, I'm done with this person. I'm over this energy. And you could put yourself on a dating site and you know, and a new person would probably pop up in the story two weeks, you know, two weeks from now when I do this, these Scorpio videos, cause I'm, it's going off your energy, the cards, I'm channeling your stories, your energies and your, you know, it's your story. You're, you're the writer of that story. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, it depends on what the other person is doing, too, because I'm also, because you're connected to them, so I'm also channeling their energies, but, you know, you have free will here, so it's like, you can decide, like, hey, I don't want this anymore, and I can get a new story here, but, I mean, I guess there'd have to be enough people that decided that for me to actually get a new story, but you know what I mean. Um, but, yeah, this is just the current energy. Like I said, I don't dictate what the cards tell me. I just, I read whatever they tell me, and this is what they're saying. This is the current energy your person is in um just for those of you that want the updates it's like they're still in that energy where they want to impulsively message you if they have not already they're still thinking about it i get a lot of self-destructive energy i'm really getting that that um i guess that maybe that's going on with water signs oh that makes sense because okay because i just did my pisces video and i was getting it was really weird because I don't pick up self-destructive energy that often, but I was actually getting with the Pisces video, I was getting self-destructive energy too. Um, I don't, I don't think I got too much of that with cancer. It was mostly Pisces, but it makes sense because I was, I remember I was just hearing something about how the, the full moon is really affecting water signs very heavily, like more than everyone else right now. So that does make sense. And it's probably it's probably part of the third that makes sense actually yeah part of the third eye opening it's par probably connected to the full moon and then what they're going through just lots of like tower moments and just chaotic life changes so some of them are going back to old patterns because they're they're they were numb and now they're feeling again and some of them are not sure what to do with all that emotion it's just all coming out at once it's like this person is probably crying like every day to be honest like your person is probably like upset about one thing or another just about every day like they're probably continuously like just emotional it's it just very emotional right now is what I'm getting um so so some of them yeah some of them might be turning to substances I mean we have this person that has a glass of wine in their hand this looks like this couple is like at a club or something you know wine again right there um Cause it's like, like I said, they've been suppressing things for so long and they're just feeling it now. Like it's all coming out and they just, they don't know what to do. Choosing their words, wisely planning their approach, willpower, strength, confidence. Yeah. I feel like they're not messaging you just because they want to say the right thing like they're trying to for those of you that have not gotten a message I almost feel like they're they're, they're this inner this reading is almost difficult for me to like tap like it's it's not difficult I don't want to say it's difficult for me to tap into but it's like very emotional so it's very like chaotic like they're very back and forth right now it's almost like a bipolar type of energy it's like they're just they're they're just in this really chaotic mental state right now is what I'm feeling and unless this is you, I mean, this could be you for some of you, but, um, 
It feels like they go back and forth between just wanting to impulsively message you and just cry and be like, hey, I just need you here. And then, like, they have... It feels like, like they hit rock bottom and they don't have very much strength left. But they're trying to hold on to what little strength they have left to not message you and pour their heart out and to be strong and, like, figure this out and, and choose their words wisely and plan their approach and figure out what to say so that they're not just, like, drunk messaging you at 2 a.m. Like, oh, my God, I miss you. I need you here. Come over. You know what I mean? Like, they're trying... They're, they're fighting the urge to do that. Like, they're tempted to do that, but they're trying to hold themselves back so that they can send a message that's maybe a little bit more balanced. Because um, they're just very lost right now is the energy I get. And some of them are really falling, falling back into old patterns, like I said. So they're, they're summoning what little strength they have left. For some of them, they might feel like you hurt them and you deceived them. Like maybe you cheated for, for some of you, not all of you, but for a few of you, like maybe you cheated or maybe you did something to hurt them. Um, or they maybe they feel like you did. Maybe you didn't even do it, but maybe they feel like, like in like their perspective, you did. You know what I mean? Like, in, from their perspective, you deceived them. Because I'm also, for a few of you, I'm getting the sense that, like, the reason they're holding back is out of pride. Like, they miss you, but they don't want to be the first one to reach out. So, like, they're being stubborn. Like, they're trying to... It's almost like they're, like, drunk. Like, some of them, like, for those that drink, it's almost like I see them, like going to drunk message you and then they like stop themselves they're like no I'm not going to message them first like no I can't say that I can't be that vulnerable so it's almost like that like they're fighting their feelings like their feelings are super intense for you like they're really missing you but some of them are like fighting it and being stubborn and like not wanting to be the first one that caves it's really it's, it's an annoying energy but like I said for some of you like they they might feel like you hurt them so that could just for a few of you, not all of you, but for, for, for some of you, it does feel like they think that you deceived them or you manipulated them or you left them. Like they, and from your perspective, you might be like, like, dude, I had to leave. You were being toxic. Like, you know what I mean? Like maybe there was a reason you had to leave and there was a reason you stopped entertaining them, but they're in this like kind of lost kind of like victim mentality and feeling sorry for themselves. So they're, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're playing the victim. So they're not getting that. They're not seeing their role in why you left if you did leave or if you hurt them. They're not, they're not taking responsibility. They're just kind of like going back and forth between like caving and messaging you and just telling you they just need you there and they miss you and, you know, forcing themselves not to message you. So any final messages here? And like I said, I'm channeling your energy. So it's like, it's like this story is, I mean, it depends on your interactions with each other. You know what I mean? Like this could drastically change in two weeks or it could be very similar energy, the same story. It's, it's really, like I said, it's your story. It's up to you guys. It's up to this person and it's up to you. It's, it's your connection. You know, like I said, when I do these readings, I don't ask any questions. I just, I just have the cards tell me whatever the, the, the your person's current energy is. So this is what I'm letting you guys know. Um, would any of you be interested in a... I made a Patreon account and I charge like maybe like eight bucks a month for it. Would any of you guys be interested in that? Because I know some of you want to know about the new person. Some of you want to know about this old person. Some of you want like shadow work readings and whatever else. Like, And so I would probably be doing more like extended in-depth readings on the Patreon. So that I can answer, like, instead of just tapping into your person, I could also tap into you. I could also tap into new love. Um, I'm just wanting to find out if there's any interest in that. Like, if anyone would, would subscribe to that before I start one. So, yeah, please let me know. And any final messages here? My third eye is open tonight. It's tripping me out. It's kind of creeping me out tonight, to be honest. It's like my third eye is very open right now. I think it's like the full moon energy. It's really, it's kind of crazy right now. And they're they're feeling that energy too. Like your person's really in tune with the, the full moon that we just had. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. Yeah, they keep like overthinking it. See, they're back and forth. They're like... That's why I really feel like some of them are, like, in their head and they feel like you hurt them, but you don't feel like you hurt them. Does that make sense? 
almost like maybe you said, like, maybe there's, like, miscommunication between you guys or something. Or maybe you said, like, hey, I'm not going to be treated like that anymore. And they're like, oh, they rejected me. Like, they're just not getting it. They're like, they're not, they're in this Eight of Swords energy. So they're not understanding your perspective or, like, why you did whatever this was that they feel like they were deceived. Like, they're not understanding why that happened, you know? And so they're overthinking and they're overanalyzing, they're self-sabotaging, and it's like they missed you and they want to reach out, but they need to get past their pride. And it's like they go back and forth between that and between, cause like I said, lots of passionate emotional energy, and it's kind of chaotic, though, in a way, because it's like it's so much all at once. Like they, they were numb, and now they're just feeling everything all at once, and they don't know what to do with it. It's so overwhelming for them. Like, it's just so intense for them. But I just keep getting that visual of someone, like, uh, I don't Maybe that's just for, like, one or two of you. But it's, like, I'm seeing someone at the bar, and it's, like, they, like, go to... Like, they grab their phone when they're drunk, and they're, like, typing this message out, like, Oh, my God, I miss you. Can I just... Can I come over? Can can you just come over here, please? Like, can you just come to the bar? I just... I need to see you. Like, like they just... Like, in that moment, like, they just... They just have to have you there. Like, they're almost like depressed at the bar like have you ever like been through like a breakup or something and it's like you go to like a club or a bar and you're just like there by yourself and it's like you just want that person there you know what I mean it's like you just want like it's like that energy where they're just like I don't care just I don't care if we're not gonna work out just 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 come just come over here I just need you I just want to see if we can make this work I just miss you it's like that very emotional energy um so it's like I see someone like at a bar like message like going to message you like I miss you like just can you can you meet me here like can I come over tomorrow can we talk like can we like just wanting to, like communication to finally be open with you they're tired of the silence they're tired of the small talk um they're tired of the stagnant energy and the blocks between you two and but I'm getting like pain and I'm getting the sense of like pain and also the sense of like pride. Like they're, they're just not wanting to be the first one to cave. Like they're not, you know what I mean? It's like they go to message you, but then they're like, no, like, n like they stop themselves. But it's like the, oh, the, no the emotion is like overwhelming and painful for them. Like they really want to talk to you, but they're like holding a grudge or something or they're like their pride is in the way or they're like just so vulnerable and so lost and so confused right now they don't even know what direction to go so it's like look at this it's like they overthink and then they are in this passionate energy where they're like i'm gonna make a move towards love like green light like giving into their emotions and then they're like no wait what if i what if i get rejected what if what if we have arguments again or what if this happens again you know it's like it's very back and forth energy so um I wish, I know, I wish I had, like, better cards, because I know it's not really, like, giving you guys advice, it's just kind of saying, like, this is what is right now, you know, and sometimes it's like that, sometimes the readings are just, like, this is just what is, like, there's not, if your person is in this chaotic energy, then there's not going to be, like, a clear answer, you know, like, some psychics will tell you, like, oh, your person's coming back tomorrow, but it's, like, they just say that to get you guys to watch them and buy readings from them, it's not, you know what I mean, like, they can't know that for sure, um, I mean, I can predict it, but it's like timelines are tricky. People ask for timelines and I'm like, I don't, you know, if you're, if your person's in a, in a chaotic energy like this, they're all over the place. So that makes it really hard to try to predict timeline. You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, they are consistently wanting to message you. Like I'm getting that regularly. They, they start messaging you and they stop themselves. Like I'm getting that consistent energy. So it's just a matter of, like, are they going to break down? And I think they might. Honestly, I think they might. Like, I don't usually say that, but I really do feel like they might but just because they're just so emotional right now that I don't know how they could hold it back for long. I almost feel like if your person drinks, like, they're going to get super drunk and then they're going to message you. It's almost like they're, they're drink like, if, if, if that's your story and, and your person is, like, going back to drinking or, or using or something like that, it's almost like... They've gotten really drunk, but, like, not quite drunk enough to, like, completely just cave. Like, they've still, like, stopped themselves from texting, but it's almost like they're going to get so drunk that they're just going to be, like, messaging you, but they're going to... It's going to be, like, a chaotic message, I feel. Like, a chaotic, unexpected message at, like, 2 a.m., and you're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, 
I hope that makes sense. But I just get that energy. I just get like, like it's so weird. That's why I keep feeling like maybe they feel like you hurt them. Like, cause it's like, why don't they just message you? Why are they being so stubborn? But it's almost like they're like they're really fighting it. It's not like a, it's not like a typical. How do I explain that? I mean, there's people that have like commitment issues and like they they kind of. You know, maybe maybe they they're ghosting or they're kind of being distant. It's not even like that. It's it's like they're really fighting it. They're not. It's it's not like someone that's God. How do I explain that? Sorry. When I get when I channel, sometimes it gets kind of jumbled and crazy. Um, like I feel like someone that like was just like kind of you know had some commitment issues were probably just they'd still reach out. They would still just want someone there. But this almost feels like this person is like fighting this for dear life. Like they are like they think you're gonna break their heart if they reach out to you, or they think that. You're gonna reject them, or maybe maybe they maybe you guys haven't talked for a while, so they feel like they're gonna get hurt more by you. Something. It's like they're really, really stubborn about this for some reason. It's ugh. any final messages. And like I said, if this is your story and you want me to, because there's you know different variations of this story, of course. If this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into you know what this person's feeling. Um, if they're wanting to reach out, whatever you want to know, just send me an, an email. My email address is right below in the description box. Um, yeah, we got anger miscommunication. It's like there's mutual feelings here, but like there's some kind of miscommunication took place. Where maybe they felt like you rejected them, but you didn't. Because I keep getting that. It's like, I don't, how do I explain that? It's like the stubbornness is so... It's not typical stubbornness. It's like, it's more intense than that. It's like, they're really like, they're really like just fighting this so hard. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Almost feels like a breakup. Like some of you guys just went through a breakup or something. Possibly. Or you stood up to them and they're not used to you standing up to them and they took it as rejection. It's something like that where there's some kind of miscommunication here. Nostalgia, longing. Yeah, it's like they're nostalgia. There's, they're, they're nostalgia. They're nostalgic, they're missing you, but it's like they're... They're just cold and they're guarded and it's like, but they're loyal and they want to be loyal and stable with you at the same time. They're so, I wish I could give you guys more clarity, but honestly, like I said, I'm channeling their energy and they're in this chaotic, they're in this chaotic energy right now. So there's not like a clear, you know what I mean? Like there's not a clear answer. They're back and forth. But I mean, they're, I will say consistently though, they are wanting to message you. Like that emotion is there and it's not going away. Like it's, they're really in pain over you right now. I don't know if like, I don't know what this story is because I don't, did you guys just go through like a breakup or something? Like what's going on? Because I thought this was someone from your past that you hadn't even talked to for a while, but for whatever reason, they're like really in their feels about you right now. Like they're really nostalgic. They've really gotten in their head about you. So it's like, it's consistent. You know what I mean? It's not like it's not like they miss you one day and then the next day they're like, oh, I'm good. It's like, no, like every day they're like upset and wanting to talk to you and wanting to be close to you, but they're fighting themselves. So it kind of feels like a breakup for some of you. Maybe, maybe I'm going to have like new viewers coming in or something. And this is like applies to a couple of specific people. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, like I said, if it resonates, just subscribe to me and I do paid private readings. My email is below and any donations are appreciated. My, my donation links are below too. So thanks for watching.